sa PCK3. Kay sa tribu ibaloy sa PCK3, buwas damlag sa kabataan, hindi pag ulihi. Matunog PCK3. Broadcasting live from Philomer Christian University. It's 5 minutes before 8 o'clock and we are going to be together again until 9 o'clock this morning. Today is just a beautiful Friday morning, June 4, 2021. And you are now listening to 89.9 Tribo Ibaloy FM. My name is Teacher John and I'm here to discuss with you our lesson in English 7 about the different types of sentences according to function or purpose. So students, get your handouts now and let's start this exciting Friday learning experience. Students, how are you today? Have you taken your breakfast already? I hope that you have taken your breakfast and seated in a comfortable place while listening to our broadcast. Those who want to go to the bathroom, you may do it now because after a minute, we will start with our new lesson. Today's daily educational dose of lessons will be for my grade 7 learners. So I will be your teacher today for English 7. To my students, please take your handouts now and get ready to learn. Our topic for today will be about sentences. Let's start with the pre-assessment found on your handouts. So I will be giving you 5 minutes to answer. Don't forget to write your answers in a separate paper and not exactly in your handouts. You may begin.
Alright, time is up. Now please compare your answers using the answer key found at the end of your handouts. How well did you do in the pre-assessment? If you got all the answers correct, congratulations! But if you didn't, well that's okay, you still have time to learn. This time, let's proceed with the rest of the handouts. This time, let's see how much you can recall about punctuation marks. Please turn to page 3 of your handouts and write your answer to the questions in your paper. Are you done? Let's check and see if you got the answers correctly. So today, let us learn more about the different type of sentences according to purpose. Please listen attentively to the dialogue. A friend in need is a friend indeed. And observe the different type of sentences in it. Hey, Eric. Oh, hello, John. Where are you going? I'm going to meet my friends coming from Virginia, USA. Do you have any transportation? Yes. I have a walk to walk in, but it's too small. I wish I had a big van like Volvo van. Can I borrow yours? Well, I can lend you my van and even drive your friends at the airport. That's great. We can show them the beautiful view of our famous Argao seawall and the fine restaurants we have there. I know. And our restaurant where food is delicious, we can eat there while watching the sunset. Come on now or we may be late. Thanks, John. Please don't forget to bring your camera for our souvenir. Don't you know that a sentence may be classified according to function or purpose. And if you have any idea, what are these sentences? You're right. These are declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, and lastly, exclamatory sentence. 
So what is the declarative sentence? Very good. A declarative sentence is a kind of sentence that states an idea or a fact and ends with a period. Well, can you think of an example of a declarative sentence? Very good. So one of the examples of a sentence in declarative form is I am changing job next week. So this is an example of a declarative sentence because it is stating a fact that he or she is changing a job next week. How about an interrogative sentence? Okay, so an interrogative sentence is a kind of sentence that asks a question and ends with a question mark. Can you think of an example of an interrogative sentence? Okay, so one of the examples is the question, why are you late? So this is one example of an interrogative sentence. In English, interrogative questions often begin with interrogative words like who, when, where, why, what, and how. Interrogative sentences without question words are generally formed by moving the helping verb before the subject. For example, do you have any more cough drops? Let's move on to the third type of sentence, the imperative sentence. Can you tell me what an imperative sentence is? Very good. Imperative sentences give a command, a request, advice, a suggestion, a warning, or a wish. They can be followed by a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. For example, be quiet. It is a command, right? Next sentence, please have a seat. It is a request, right? Next sentence, watch out. It is also a command. And lastly, enjoy yourselves. It is a wish. The simple subject of an imperative sentence is usually the understood you. Turn to page 37, or we can say it in another way. You turn to page 37. Can you tell me the last kind of sentence? Exactly. So it is the exclamatory sentence. So what are exclamatory sentences? Exclamatory sentences exclaim or show great emotion. Exclamatory sentences end with exclamation marks. Remember, only use exclamation marks when necessary. So it is easy to overuse them. Can you think of an example of an exclamatory sentence? Very good. Wow, that magic trick was amazing. So that is an example of an exclamatory sentence. Do you know that exclamatory sentences can begin with question words? Examples of these are, What wonderful weather we are having today. How lovely to see you. Again, the different types of sentences according to function or purpose are, Declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory.
Time check, it is now 8.55 in the morning. We have come to the end of today's lesson in English 7 on the topic different types of sentences according to function and purpose. Thank you so much to my grade 7 learners who have joined me today. I hope you have learned a lot. Until our next lesson, this has been Teacher John. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock here at our Educational Morning Radio Show Fun in English at 89.9 Tribo Ibaloy FM. Reminders to protect yourself and others against COVID-19. Stay home. Stay safe. Himpilan sa PCK3 Kay sa tribo ibaloy sa PCK3, buwas damlag sa kabataan, hindi pag-ipaulihi. Matunong PCK3 Thank you.